Any new recommendations have come out about COVID-19 protocols and vaccinations, which can be confusing. And as case numbers rise in our area, Nurse Christina Paris from the VA is here to give us an update on what we need to know. So good morning to Hi, you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> yes, thanks. I know this reminds me of the Brady Bunch, you know, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Like, and I, you two are too young to even know that reference, but it's just like, really, really, we don't, I, we're overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to talk about it any more than anybody wants to hear about it, but we have to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of which, so what are some current updates on COVID-19 that we need to know? So one of the big things, like you said, Sierra, the numbers are rising in the area. And I have long said that we are gonna have a cold flu and COVID season. It's not going away. This is just what we're gonna have. And, you know, we talk about like the October through March is the cold flu and now COVID season. And so here we are, we're having people who, um, we have 154 active cases in the area. Um, new variants are coming out. It doesn't really matter if it's the Delta or the Kilo variant, it doesn't matter. It's just COVID and we need to make sure we're staying protected. Yeah, absolutely. I think one thing that I think a lot of people question is, you know, once you're vaccinated, do you need to continue to worry? Oh, that is a great question because we hear that all the time. So we screen when people come into the clinic and you're going to get that at any healthcare facility that you go to. You're going to find that in the hospitals and clinics. And so often patients go, oh, no, 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 I'm good. I, I was vaccinated, but that doesn't matter. So a lot of the cases we're seeing are people who were vaccinated. So it, it, uh, while, yes, yeah, it is still good to be vaccinated because it stops you from from dying from it and from getting so sick that you're hospitalized. Not to mention it helps um, you don't have to stay uh, isolated for as long if you are vaccinated. Um, yeah, the rules have changed for that. So in fact, look, if you don't mind, let me just yeah. talk about that really quick. So if you're vaccinated, you want to make sure you mask up for 14 days and um, get tested five to seven days after you've had that close contact. Um, and actually the 14 days can be 10. So talk to your healthcare provider and then isolate if you have sy symptoms. If you are unvaccinated, it's 14 days. Watch for symptoms, anything strange. So symptoms, we've had patients who have had anything from they just collapsed, fainted, lost, you know, their, the one patient said his legs gave out um, to the full, I have a cold, it's just a cold. You know, we test them, well, it's not just a cold. Um, to nausea and vomiting. And we're seeing it from kids all the way up to adults. So we have whole families who are getting sick with this. Um, and remember, grandma and grandpa are still very vulnerable um, unless they've had their booster shots. Um, so you need to be careful. And then um, seven days after a negative test. So if you've been vaccinated, test five to seven days after exposure, and then um, you can, you can if it's negative and you don't have symptoms, you can come off. Interesting, yeah. that's yeah. really good to know. Well, I've heard like Aaron Rodgers has been in the news recently. Are there treatments like he's been talking about to kind of help with COVID? So there, there are some treatments. Now, just know that these two are under emergency use authorization. Mm -hmm. There are no FDA approved um, treatments for COVID. But one of the things that we're seeing in a lot of the places, we don't do it at the VA clinic because we don't have the availability, but I know Marshall Clinic and Aspirus are doing them. And they're called monoclonal antibody treatments. Mm -hmm. There's three different types that you can get, um, and I can't even pronounce them, so I'm not going to, but just know they're the monoclonal antibody treatments. And the people who we want to get this or who qualify are people who are over the age of 65, um, obesity or diabetes or cardiovascular disease, chronic lung diseases like asthma um, or interstitial lung diseases, cystic fibrosis, pulmon those kind of people, we want to get it. And, and the patients who I've talked to who have had it done said they feel amazing the next day. Like uh, it, it's, it's been a real change. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's available. They're, they're trying out some of the flu the new uh, treatments that are available for flu, the antivirals, yeah. but nothing has been said. Oh, but there, cool. there are things, but definitely, you know, wash your hands, isolate, so it's keep there, it is do. there, yeah. and we're seeing it in kids and whole families. Yeah. So really do what you can. And if you're sick, wear a mask, just be courteous. Mm -hmm. 
keep a distance from people. There's just simple things. I'm not saying don't go out, don't live, don't, well, I shouldn't say that, all my nursing friends. Don't go out if you're sick. Yeah. But if you're not sick, you know, go, go out. Just be smart about it. Right. Perfect. Well, Absolutely. thank you so much for all the tips and all the information. I think that's really going to help a lot of people out there. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you.